So, we are standing in the middle of the wheat field now. And as you can see here is a weak spot where the plants are very weak. They are smaller, yellow. Perhaps it belongs to the structure of the soil. Perhaps it belongs to the pH value of the soil. And therefore, we look now into the soil and get out the information we need to make a recommendation to help. To look for more details, we have to go more inside the soil. And now we, are, we take a look to the upper soil. And therefore, you use typically a shovel and dig a hole like we did this here. And then you take a look to the structure of the upper soil. And as you can see here, it's a little bit compacted and uh, with some stones in it. But this is no problem. Touch the soil, yes? And if you touch it, you can even smell it. It has to smell good, like compost, then it's okay. When it smells bad, you have a problem with compaction. It's crumbling as it should be. And um, to look for another details is, are there any earthworms in it? And um, even there is humidity in, there are no earthworms to see here now. So this is a, yes, maybe the soil compaction is so heavy that the earthworms are not there. The second thing you can check is, is there any free carbonate in this soil? Yes, therefore we use hydrochloric acid, 10%. You can make uh, carbonate, calcium carbonate visible. It's uh, used for soil tests. Yes, you use this. Take a lamp of soil, and put this on and see if there's any brushing or foam. But as you can see, here's nothing. And if you look into the profile here, there's also no, no foaming. Yes, because there's no Precarbonate. The pH value has to be 6.1 to 6.3, and if you see here, it's an orange color. It's 5.5, 5.6. So there is a demand for alkalic material in this area here, where the plants are small and yellow so the pH value is not optimal so that's why all the NPK fertilizers are fixed in the soil and are not going into solution that the roots can take them up so we have to replace um, and put some additionally carbonatic material to these areas of the field to um, correct the pH value and also with the calcium content of the material to um, increase the soil structure in this area. So we found out there's a there's an issue with the pH value at this weak uh, spot here. So we have to correct this. And uh, for this one, uh, usually we use uh, alkaline material, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate. You see here powder products. This is chalk. This is dolomite. And uh, what Omia has is uh, the basic product is Calcipril. We also have Macpril for soil treatment, pH correction, calcium and magnesium nutrition, and um, see how it works. So we compare the reactivity of two materials. Here is a dolomite with 40% of magnesium carbonate, 50% of calcium carbonate, 400 million years old, with a chalk, which has uh, 90% of calcium carbonate and is 70 million years old. And we compare it with the Calcipril Omnia granulated product. We check the reactivity with lemon acid, which has a pH value of 4.5. And now look what's happening. The coarse material of the dolomite, there's no re reaction. Now see the reactivity with the chalk. There's a heavy reaction with the soft acid and now see the reactivity with the Omia Calcipro. So how many kilograms do we need here at this place? We have a pH value of 5.5 here. 
we have to correct it to 6.1. So we need at least in this particularly spot one ton material to increase the pH value and also to improve the soil structure. So for the next two years, we recommend 500 kilograms of calcipril every year to correct the pH value in these areas where the pH value is 0.5 points under optimum. And uh, after two years, the pH value should be corrected and also the soil structure will be in a better condition.